Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and good morning from epic location again. And we were just started here walking uh, towards our destination and we were greeted by a corn creek who was right next to the road here. Uh, I'll give you a look corn at some crates. corn creeks. Apologies. Uh, I'll give you a look at some of the footage there. You may not be able to see them obviously because they're in the tall grass, but you'll be able to hear the sound that they make as well, which is really nice to hear first thing in the morning. So we're up for sunrise after an absolutely epic evening yesterday evening at a location to die for. If you haven't seen that episode actually, I'll link to it up here. You don't want to miss it. It was incredible. So we've got high hopes again for this morning. I'll give you a look at what, we get, what we're going to when we get there. Probably, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. But it'll be 30 seconds for you. Let's go. She blows. One, 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 one. And me, is this? Right, sure, this by this. I'm just wondering, is that seeing me? Are you seeing me? How are you? So, welcome to epic location number two in this epic location overall. And you can see here below me, uh, we have this stunning uh, sea arch that's below here with this incredible headland leading back out over this direction here uh, to where we were shooting yesterday evening for sunset. Now the sunrise is due to happen this direction here but as you can see we've got some clouds but we have some gaps in the clouds so we're always going to be ever hopeful. Uh, Bernard has just woken up he was asleep here for the, uh, the night, so he didn't bother going to the hotel. He said he couldn't come here because he loved it so much. So I had to come along and wake him up this morning. Um, but you know what? He said he's relatively comfortable. Uh, I think it's going to be stunning here. I do hope that we do get light because when all this here lights up, it will be dramatic and epic and all kinds of words. Can't think this morning, brain isn't awake. But yeah, we're going to hang around in here, wait for the light. I've taken a test shot here in the pre-dawn light um, and it still looks pretty nice so I'll give you a look at that first shot now and then we're going to play the waiting game and the fingers and toes are crossed so yeah please cross your toes and your fingers as well for us so that we get a bit of light so yeah good morning
We are at sunrise right now. Uh, as you can see here, we have very little light over here. The, sun, the moon is up here. Uh, and what I decided to do was to go for a very long exposure because with the clouds moving this way, you get streaks in the clouds in a long exposure shot. So I went for a 10 minute long exposure. I put on my polarizer and I put on my 10 stop uh, and at 10 minutes it was exactly perfectly cooked. Now the polarizer as well as removing any of the sheen that's below but it's also darkening the water which I think works quite well too. Now the sun is up over here like I said but we're not getting any real colour uh, but still there's an opportunity because I think it's going to be a while before the scene changes when the sun pops up here and comes through that gap that we see hopefully it'll cast a nice glow on these rocks. I'll give you a look at the 10 minute exposure anyway now on the back of the camera I think it looks nice looking forward now to uh, processing it and then we will wait to see what else happens. Bernard how are you getting on are you uh, are you getting any any shot in these? Yeah good did a lovely 10 minute exposure lovely detail in the foreground lovely overexposed sky overall 50-50 and you know we love an overexposed sky <laughs> we aim for those yes so yeah blow your highlights and blow your audio they're my tips for today here's the shot I was waiting for the sun to make its appearance I decided to come up to the highest point here on the island and from up here you have some incredible 360 views you've got the area that's behind me here which is where we were shooting on yesterday evening and then we're over onto the sunrise location there are a couple of cliffs actually here as well that I might want to uh, look at then you've got this stunning lighthouse that's at the very end of the island and then you're heading back over as well to the main populous area and then with Ireland, uh, the mainland in the distance as well. Some of the mountains that are over there as well, you've got Aragal, you've got Muckish, um, so they're really, really nice as well. Pity that we're not getting any light in them, but they're still nonetheless, there's still time. You know, the sun, as you can see behind me here, is lighting up the sky, but we've got no direct light, but yeah, still incredible, incredible, incredible location. I'm gonna go over here and have a look. If it's anyway nice, I'll give you a look when I get there. So the sun is trying its best to break through the clouds here behind and hopefully I managed to get a shot here. There was a bit of a ray of light coming across and lighting up the cliffs below me here. But as you can see, it is a stunning scene. All it needs now is light. Now, with the gap that's there, there's a one as well that's a bit higher, so we'll wait a bit longer. As you can see, the sun is just peeking through now, so it is going to give a blush of colour. Settings as well now at the moment here are on relatively fast, one tenth of a second, f7.1, ISO is at 200. Um, and I was doing that because I was on handheld. Might change it around again now, just to see. But yeah, I'll show you these ones anyway next. Probably will be slightly different to the ones earlier because we did get that blush of colour. Hopefully it'll be enough to be able to be noticeable. And we're going to hope and pray that the gap that you see right here 
stays there, but I don't know because the cloud is moving this direction, so it might swallow up that gap uh, by the time the sun gets up to it. And then behind it as well here, looks pretty much solid cloud too. But nonetheless, still think stunning uh, location, still think stunning shots, because we'd be only greedy if we got uh, epic light for two days in a row or two shoots in a row, but yeah, or whatever. Show you the shot now, check back in again in a while. So the sunlight has thwarted our fun, but still nonetheless, I still think it was nice. Got a couple of time lapses there of the moving rays that are off on the horizon. And yeah, Bernard, what a spot by. Unbelievable again. Yeah, un unreal, like, considering, I think, last minute plans, you know, for you, seven hour each way, kind of. I know you came up from Cork, stayed in my house for the night, and then we came from my house, which is nearly four hours. We've four hours back to my house now, and you've three hours yeah. to go on top of that. But overall, what's your take on the fact that it was just a last minute? Unreal. Yeah, like. You, you, you can plan everything that you want, and that's really important, but you also need to go with the flow and be spontaneous and say, okay, you know what, it could be good. Yesterday was amazing, this morning could have been amazing to get a bit of light, but still at the same point, what else could we be doing, you know? A home and bed. At the end of the day, you shoot, you know, your shoot to light ratio is quite low, <laughs> you know? It's, it's that simple. It's probably yeah. 10, 20 percent, you know? Um, I think it was pretty, pretty epic. Um, but the scenery itself is strong enough, like, do you know what I mean? Like this arch here below is absolutely incredible. So yeah, look, we're gonna go back there now, have a sleep, I think, then have some breakfast, then catch the boat back to the mainland. And then as BG had said, the long journey home uh, starts. But yeah, it was fantastic to come here. Thank you very much as always for joining. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to join in next Wednesday when I will be doing one of my behind the raws. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Can we just give a huge shout out to Ireland? <laughs> for making us wear our woolly hats and yes. jackets and hoods yes um on the end of may <laughs> 31st of may <laughs> yeah absolutely true story yeah so thanks everybody and uh thanks bernard by shalanga fall see you guys